hello guys good morning good afternoon and good evening depends where you are listening from all right you are welcome back to news across nigeria and today is the 24th day of february uh, 2020 my time here is 9 49 in the morning so i want to uh, talk about the 2023 uh, presidency we are in rufai okay i really don't know if uh, it's all political but Erufai, uh, one of the loyalists, not one, okay, Buhari's most loyal governor, okay, says presidency should go to the south after Buhari. But before I go back to give you this story, uh, please, if this is your first time of watching any of our video or story, uh, part of your effort to support us is to subscribe and also click on the bell icon. Uh, so you get instant notification whenever we have uh, stories like this to share with you guys. All right, from the images um, you see on your screen, you know El Rufai. Uh, sometimes, if you want to greet uh, President Buhari, he kneels down. Uh, that was the reason why I said he is one of the loyalists to President Buhari. So the governor of Kaduna State has insisted that the North has no justification to remain in power after the expiration of President Buhari's second tenor. So, Erufai maintained that uh, presidency should rightly return to the south, to the southern part of Nigeria. Well, he said, though the constitution of uh, the APC does not uh, make provision for rotation, but in the interest of justice, equity and fair play uh, presidency should go to other regions of the country all right so i really love when he uh, came in uh, with the justice equity and fair play that presidency should go uh, to the southern part of the country okay so uh, he was quoted saying that the general political consensus in Nigeria is that the presidency should rotate between the north and the south. It is not written, but everyone understands it. In some of the parties, like the PDP, it is even written down in their constitution, but it was breached in 2015. I think that every politician of honor should understand and abide by that consensus except there is an extenuating circumstances compelling it to be set aside okay so what could this be president buhari died in office and um, it was compulsory for jonathan to continue but when 2011 election came there were many people who insisted that Jonathan should step aside for a northerner to complete the tenure of President Yaradua. But I opposed it because I didn't think it was proper for an incumbent that got there, not by his own design, should be stopped from contesting when the constitution has not barred him from running. In APC, we deliberately omitted rotationally, rotational presidency in our constitution and the emergence of a presidential candidate does not take into account zoning and that was why in 2015 Rocha Sukorocha from the east contested, Sam Nda Isia contested, Buhari, Kwankoso and others also contested. So El Rufai, we all know he's a chieftain of the APC also added that presidential candidates are chosen on the basis of merit and general acceptance all right so um, according to him he said i can say that um, i can say that as distinct from the pdp apc has no rotational presidency but candidates are selected strictly on the basis of political merit and the general acceptability of the candidate i want to say that those of us from Northern Nigeria Honor Agreement, we do not violate unwritten political agreement, and I will be the last person to lead in violating 
that agreement i may have a personal view but that should be the basis i don't care where you come from but i look for merit but as a group the northern apc will have to sit down and endorse someone most likely someone from the south because after eight years of buhari i don't think the presidency should remain in the south unless there is some extenuating circumstances but all things being equal we will honor agreement and we keep our word so that was what the um, uh Erufai said remember like i told you um he's Buhari's loyalist and um, there was this rumor and news flying after the 2019 election you know um, personally i was like ah we are uh, less than one year after election and people are already talking about 20 uh, 23 presidency okay so there was this rumor because it was all rumor all right so uh, the, it, it, the news was not grounded it was all rumors uh, that Tinibu will be contesting for 2023 20, presidency and um, El Rufai was also warming up uh, to contest for 2023 20, presidency and um, I really don't know why uh, the same El Rufai now uh, comes out now saying that um, the idea of the Nord holding on to power um, it's not it's a bad idea that the power should rotate back uh, to the side well I, I really don't know for now okay remember when the uh, rumor came El Rufai didn't uh, give his own uh, a side of the story if he was interested in 2023 uh, 20, presidential e election okay so but um, you know Nigerian politics um, it's something we I don't know how to put it. Nigerian politics is um, unpredictable. So I don't know if um, Erufa is suggesting uh, presidency to move back to the south is all uh, political. So what do you guys think? Remember the rumor during that period that Erufa is also warming up for 2023 presidency? Because the North says they will cling into power after Buhari. While the South East here was fighting, the Igbos, uh, the South East was fighting for the same position, and the South West was warming up. Okay, so Tinubu was the forefront. Well, I really don't know what is um, happening. I, I really don't know what to comment. But um, Erufai, um, one of Buhari's loyalists, I, I really don't know why he's saying so. But for me, I think it's all political. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think on the comment section below see you guys and don't forget um our youtube training course is up once again for those of us those people that attended the course last year uh, they have their youtube channel now running most of them they are making income their youtube channel has been monetized okay so uh, if you're interested in that course or uh, you just send me an email um on the email the email you see on your screen okay just send me an email and i will tell you how to get the course but you can also check the website on your screen uh you get everything on how to get the course and it's about 70 percent off for now okay it's only for 20 people after then uh the price will uh, go up to its original price as people who paid last year all right so if you're interested just send me an email and we'll get um i'll tell you how to get that course it's a youtube training how to make money how to create your youtube channel just like this how to grow your channel making your videos with your mobile phones all right so even if you don't have access to computer we are making the uh the video with a mobile phone all right so just send me an email i will tell you how to get the course it is not actually free okay like i said it is like 70 percent off from original price all right guys so that is the story as erufai says presidency should go to the south after buhari so what do you guys think um, of these you can put in your own contribution on the comment section below i will see you guys in another video